Now we got an interesting drive home. Around Australia. Have a go of it. She's a bit foggy inside, but she's good. She's a goer. What do you reckon, boys? Nice. Now we got an interesting drive home. Welcome to. Oh, I'm doing it on my iPhone for once, but we've got the um, got the new Pajero. I have already started by pulling the seats out. Grace is helping. Um, so she's pretty feral inside but back seats look nice they're in pretty good condition the best thing about the whole thing is that it comes with a a lovely certificate of road weirdness um but we've got big plans for the little the little thing Ooh, um, but here we go um got a couple of little things we've got to get a speaker for there, um, this is rattling around, but I think I just need to put some screws in there and over the other side. Um, besides that, it runs and it drives fantastically. It just had new mud guards put on, oh no, mud flaps. It's got brand new, what are they, KM3s? Where are they, BFG? Yeah, there we are, brand new KM3s. Um, the only thing is, yeah, the seats are shocking. Like, they've got pretty sticky holes in them and the other one's all ripped up underneath. So, we're getting rid of these. I've undecided what to do with the carpet yet um, because I will be probably pulling out the back seats and turning it into sort of like a little, you know, camping setup with the fridges and all that in the back. So, got big things coming. Um... Oh, actually, don't say that. I've got little things coming because it's just a little car. Um, we have a winch for the front. Um, I gotta put in spotties. I gotta get a new grill for it because so, I like the Mitsubishi up there. Um, but yeah, that's it for now. I'll film some of the uh, seat taking out process. That's it, yeah. Here it comes. Okay, muscles. Give it a bit more of a tilt. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and launch it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we've given it a bit of a clean. Like, honestly, the carpet is pretty cactus, um, but what do you reckon? Carpet's pretty cactus. We're gonna chuck the new seats in that we've got hiding in the shed and um, go from there. Here we go, new seat. Pattern on the inside is slightly different to the back, but don't really care. They are way better seats than these ones, which are all faded and shit. So, yeah, sick. Okay, the, the big rig has its new seats installed. So they are, I got these from Jolly's Wreckers. Um, the only problem we have at the moment is the fact that that one does not tilt forward to uh, let people into the back seat. So that's okay though. Um, we've secured that because that was held in with a glove. We had a screw fall out of there. So this was rattling and I'm just doing a quick test with this bit of rubber here just to hold it a bit more firm because we've got a bit of if we look here we've got a bit of upwards movement there that sort of i'm hoping is sealing on that enough enough up there oh, oh i don't like it but hopefully that's sealing on there enough to make this whistling sound inside go away um i need to order the badge there and the 2.6 i've got a whole side decal that's coming for it as well um I need to pull this off 
and paint the Mitsubishi back on. Um, but we're going down now. Oh yeah, still got to lock the hubs in. Um, we're going down now to get a new set of speakers for the front there. So, because it sounds like shit with just one and some. Oh, they have four inches. Oh, is there any in there? Maybe. Um, anyway, we're going to go do that now and give it a go. Just been to Autobahn and they had some absolute Wampus speakers on special. So we got all the speakers for 140 bucks. Now we're taking out the old speakers. Well, this one didn't have an, even have a speaker in it. But um, yeah, we're popping them in there. Um, it was good because all our speaker wires already run, even though this speaker was pulled out because it didn't work, the wires actually weren't connected in the floor. So um, we're dealing with some who knows what, but that's okay. Grace has taken out the back speaker over there. There she is. Go, Grace. Beautiful. That is going on there. Just picked up a market place for 175 bucks, Iron Man one. So got to be decent quality. And we're just going to see if it fits on there. All right, here we are, we're back again. Um, got a roof rack on there, marketplace bargain, $175 Iron Man roof rack. So I just had to get some feet for it. So I got them from a joint Danny Dong. Um, Grace up there. Tightening it up for us. Um, not only that, but we put the other seats in. We already said that. Um, we got extremely lucky today and snagged Fraser a original jerry can holder because his has already got the holes for it, so won't suit my one. But the only problem is we're going to have to go find someone that can refabricate another bit here for us because it copped a hit and I don't think it's actually meant to be ah, fucked like that. But um, yeah, pretty cool, original strap, original brackets. Very, very, very hard to find, so that's awesome. But um, yeah, it looks a bit better with the roof rack on there. Drives bloody awesomely. We're going to get our club rego tonight. Um, so should be should be kicking along pretty quickly soon. But um, yes, yeah, lovely. Okay, another day, another Pajero. So this episode is gonna be Probably a little bit weird because of how much chopping and changing there is, but we're gonna get there now. We're sort of on to the build stage. Um, idiot me uh, put the roof rack on and it sits over one edge more than the other, so shit happens. But what I'm thinking, I might leave it like that and actually attach my awning. Oh no, wrong side. I'm gonna need to push it that way. Oh well. Oh, well. Um, but in saying that, we have had a huge bloody score on the inside. Now, this carpet is freaking disgusting. It's clearly had a hard life. But in saying that, where's my tape measure? We have a total... Oh, hold on, let's get my tape measure out. If we look across the back here, we put that. We're getting some messages from Dylan Padgham at the moment. We've got about... Realistically, I'm going to say we've got probably about 970 when I was actually in there measuring it properly. Now, if we all remember from the good old Yeehaw Hilux, it has a kitchen built into a 1100 canopy, and the canopy actually has a step in either side of about 80 or so mil. So the actual kitchen from the Hilux, so my fridge side, my piranha fridge side that I spent ages trying to find because it's the thinnest one that fits a 40, well, a 40-ish litre fridge. Um, Plus my XTM drawer, I could probably double stack XTM drawers to be honest. And then my plastic tubs for my pantry stuff. I'm planning on then doing sort of framing this up along here to sort of square this all up. Um, and then I'll probably do my electrical panel here um, and all my other stuff over there. Um, so yeah. Okay, we've got some pretty gross ass carpet that is just gonna so ugh, that is not very nice at all um i don't know if that's actually wet no it's not wet it's just well used um because then in the back here they actually come with tie down points which is 
pretty cool. High lows, high sections, which we can drill into. It's like, well, actually, mm, I don't know. Might actually glue a false floor on. I am, to save drilling through the bottom, I might glue instead of screw. But we'll see. I might just pull these seats out now. Because why not? What do I have on this weekend? Oh, I guess this weekend I could make up a nice ply bottom and do some other bit. Yeah, right, I'll pull those seats out. All right, after a whole six bolts, one in there, one there, one over there. There, same on that side. All uh, 12 mil bangers. She's uh, ready to come out. Um, puff me out. I haven't worked on a car for a while. I don't think I've worked on any cars since I bloody was going on my trips home. Uh, forgot what it's like, to be honest. Um, but anyway, we'll give it a go. Oh, look, a, a buddy had a run in with my hammer today and hammered myself in the face. So my teeth are a bit sore. But um, yes, we'll see how this goes coming out. I don't know, should I set the phone up? I don't even know how we can do this. Just sort of, oh, fuck. That sounds too hard. Wow, there you go. There's actually a fair bit of room in here. I'll get some measurements and I'll film the next video, but there it is, nice little package. Back's a bit shit, but the actual front of it, they're in really good condition, so I'll be popping them straight under the house, because just like I found with everything for this car, it is impossible to find parts for. So, besides the engine, you can buddy get the engine going off just about anything. Same with diffs, gearboxes for them. Everything fits. Just actual parts like tail lights and seats and that bit there. You can't get bits for it. So, that kind of sucks. But I actually don't need any bits. So, oh well. I'll measure this up and I'll put the dimensions of what we can actually fit on the screen. So, phew. okay, so engine has arrived. Ooh, deluxe, nice front facing manifold with obviously got no oil in it, but that's what we like. Um, Sigma head, but really what we've paid for is this. Still not sure if I'm going to use the Sigma head yet. Um, or I adapt one of the water galleries on the manifold to suit my magna, oh uh, no, 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 magna head, um, the one on there already, so I haven't decided that yet, but i trying to put the bastard in there, it's a bit hard at the moment. <sighs> Holy fucking dooly. Um, after a little bit of fucking around, we got it in, um, that's fucking heavy. Holy shit, I'm sweaty. Um, yeah, cool. We love to say it. Well, that wasn't the most sketchiest thing I've done in a while. Um, I think we're doing burnouts 90% of the way up the hill, so let's just go quickly have a look. Here's some burnout. Oh, yep, okay. Okay, so with our lovely engine, oh, that's kind of scary, um, we have two ECUs there and everything, all those yellow little bits of tape are, are labeling. So everything, every wire on the whole loom has been labeled for us. Thank fuck. Taking that head off, I'll probably go get it checked. Maybe slap some new valves in it. We'll have a look, we'll have a, I'll have a think about it. I'll see what I think. Um, and then, yeah, well, yeah, why not? I'll get that, I'll get this head dipped, crack tested, everything. We'll get, might as well, considering, you know, it's going on a good bottom end in that. This is a Magna M7 head, so good, most flowing head there is. So we can't really go wrong there. We've got starter motor, alternator, a um, couple other bits and pieces. Um, but yeah, look, honestly, today I've had enough. I'm sick. Um... I'm sick. I smashed my face with a hammer at work, so a bit tender there. But um, yeah, look, we've got a lot of lot of projects coming up, so I'll be getting cracking into this bad boy um pretty soon. So 
it's just a little bit exciting. I'm, a, I'm absolutely destroyed at the moment. I don't know, I'm so sick, so I might edit up some videos and might pump out the first one.